Okay, ready? Go. Hi, everybody. It's me, Ellen. I'm missing all of you. I'm here at school, and I thought that since you're at home, I could read a couple stories for story time, and I hope that you enjoy the books that I picked out. I'm missing you, and so is Jennifer, and we can't wait to be back together again. But until we are, enjoy these stories. I have, I'm going to have a couple of these ready for you, and I'll send them to your parents. The first book is called They Say Blue, and it's a, by Jillian Tamaki. Well, that's not blue. What do you think Jillian Tamaki wants us to think this is? What do you think it looks like? See what, let's see if we find out in the book. They say blue. Oh, do you know what kind of bird that is? We see those a lot in the summer or if you're near the beach. They say blue is the color of the sky. Look at those big swirls. Which is true today. They say the sea is blue too. It certainly looks like it from here. Oh, I wonder if you could do this at home with paint, with watercolor paint or pens. I see that she made some black lines and some blue lines and left some white to make the, the ocean look like that. It looks like little waves, doesn't it? But when I hold the water in my hands, it's clear as glass. I toss it up in the air to make diamonds. Oh, I see a lot of you do that at the, at the water table. What about a blue whale? Is a blue whale blue? I don't know. I've never seen a blue whale. You might see something that she doesn't see. Do you see something in the water that she doesn't see? She's saying, I've never seen a blue whale. Maybe she's never seen a blue whale, but maybe she swam over one. But I don't need to crack an egg to know it holds an orange yolk inside. I can't see my blood, but I know it's red. It moves around my body, even when I'm perfectly still. And when we play, I feel it race faster to keep up. Oh, have you ever, have I ever asked you to do that, to put your hand on your chest when you're running around outside to feel how fast your heart is beating? That's your blood going in and out of your heart and moving around your body even faster. A field of grass looks like a golden ocean. If I built a boat that was light enough, maybe I could sail on it. Gray clouds, a storm is coming. Doesn't this look like when we sing the song about the wheat fields waving and the dust clouds rolling? Maybe you can teach that part of the song to your grown-ups. I could never build a boat light enough to sail on a golden ocean. It's just a plain old yellow grass anyway. It's just plain old yellow grass anyway. They say spring means winter is over, but why does it feel so cold? Oh, could purple mean something new? This is the first flower that usually pops up if you live somewhere where there's snow and sometimes comes through the white snow and that's what you see and that's how you know spring is coming. It's warm at last. Look at all those layers that she's taking off. She's down to just her shirt and her pants and her socks. She even took off her boots, huh? I stretch to the sky with my fingers open wide. I sprouted. And that's Kind of what our mulberry tree looks like, doesn't it? It started out just branches, and then the mulberry tree has the flowers first, and when you come back to school, it'll probably have the leaves. Standing tall, I angle my green leaves to feel the sun. I think I'll stay quiet and listen to the sounds of summer. What are all the insects and animals that you see in this page? Look carefully, I see one, two, three, four, five, I see at least five. I didn't count the kids. Fall arrives and my leaves slowly turn brown. I drop them one by one and wiggle my toes in the soft pile at my feet. 
Winter's come again. Now the rest of the world is quiet too. All white up and down. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between the land and the sky. I close my eyes. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Black is the color of my hair. Look at how cozy she is. My mother parts it every morning like opening a window. What do you think is going to happen on the next page? Half of the page is blue and black like the page before. What do you think is going to happen if you look at the illustration that she painted here? Oh, look. It's the sunrise. Together we watch the black crows bob and chatter in the field outside. We wonder what they are thinking when they look at us, what they see. They just pull their big bodies into the air. Tiny ink blobs on a sea of sky. Oh, it's beautiful. And that's the end of the story. And look, the pictures at the end look a lot like the pictures at the beginning. Does it look like, oh no, they look different, don't they? It started out like this and it ends like that. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm just going to read one story at a time, so I'll have another video for you later. Bye.